Now on Night Beat, toxic mushrooms growing in the Bay Area and the warning out tonight on the deadly fungi. Good evening. I'm Julia Goodrich. And I'm Brian Hackney. Night Beat's Andrea Borba joins us live to show us what to watch out for. Andrea? Well, Brian, Juliet, these mushrooms like to pop out of the ground after a dry period that is followed by a big rainstorm. We are ripe for them right now here in the Bay Area. As welcome as the rain is, after months upon months of dry conditions in the Bay Area, along with that rain comes unwelcome mushrooms. East Bay Regional Park sent out a warning about two invasive and deadly species that are often found in the Bay. The Amanita phylloides, or death cap mushrooms, and the all-white destroying angel. Debbie Vies is an expert on fungi. They can come up at any time. They grow primarily with live oak trees. Um, but they have also been found with pine trees up in Marin and um, other types of trees as well. Here are the signs you should look for. It has a cap that expands when it's young. They have a veil that covers it, but as the cap expands, that veil drops like a little skirt right on that stem. And at the base, it has a bulb with a little sack around it. When the rains come, the poisonous mushrooms look appetizing to both human and canine alike. Sometimes they smell sweet like honey or sometimes they smell like decay and nasty. They're really attractive to dogs. In Alamo Square, we found pet owners who were unaware of the danger. It's not something that I was aware of, but I mean, we do have a new five month old puppy and he picks up lots of things, so it's great it to know that because it could be dangerous for him. Debbie says with both people and pets, time is of the essence to save lives. If you can get that dog to a vet within that first hour and they make them vomit, then you're out of the woods. So the longer you wait, the more serious it is um, and the more expensive it's going to be for you as an owner. Now, the best advice is at this point, if you do not know about mushrooms, do not go out gathering them. There were a number of people sickened a few years ago when these mushrooms started popping up in the East Bay Hills. The advice is to go on your nature hike, but don't touch anything. Brian, Juliet. You know, Andrea, you were like, like I was, raised in the country, out there in the wilds of Gustine. Did your family ever suggest that you go out and gather mushrooms, or did your family ever do it? No, we never did. I had some uncles who I think lived near Gilroy, closer to where you grew up, and they did that kind of thing, but we did not in the Central Valley. Well, let's not take it out on Gilroy. I'm dangerously close to Gilroy. Uh, I would never touch this stuff in the wild. I'm fine <laughs> with Safeway. Andrea, thanks very much.